Hello friends. Today, I ask you to join me on the journey through the embodiment of prosperity, the American dream, betrayal, greed, and hopefully restoration and future growth. We're here in Western Mass and this is a tour of our machine shop. Part, of course was a little bit dramatic and while there is some truth to it today's video is just going to be a tour of our little machine shop here in Western Massachusetts and I'm just gonna show you guys some of the tools some of the machines that we employ and maybe some of the jobs that we've done I hope you guys might find some value in this whether it's just for entertainment or for your interest or you guys are maybe looking to you know go into the business of manufacturing yourselves and are just interested what a machine shop may look at this mid stage of growth and I hope you guys stick around and join me for the rest of the video thank you very much I'm gonna start this tour in our office. This is my grandfather's work area right here. This is mine. Um, this is where a lot of our administrative work happens, our machine programming, our solid designing, our networking. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of reading material. Good stuff to know. Some beautiful artwork drawn, hand drawn for us by a friend. And here's our metrology area. Here's another beautiful artistic piece. But this is our metrology area, our granite table. We've got all sorts of gauges, positioning tools, height stands, um, everything you might need to inspect the part, make sure it's in spec, and make sure that you may deliver a satisfactory um, product to your customer and yeah here is this shelf that displays a lot of our previous work extra parts we've had memorabilia just all sorts of miscellaneous types of things so it's a nice little office it's nice to have your own desk, place that you can call your own. And yeah, um, we're gonna continue here out onto the floor next. So the first CNC machine I'm going to showcase is our Southwestern Industries Chack Lathe, model number right there. And it's a great machine. It's the most recent one we've purchased, um, probably about five years now. And it's got the, you know, track programming computer here. And it's nice because it also has these hand controls, which make it a pleasure to use really quick and easy to set up and run. You know, you can program a more complex part there. The Z and X axis. It's a two-axis CNC lathe. And it's also got an electronic four-tool post changer and we have our six jaw chuck mounted on right now here i want to show you guys some of the auxiliary tools that are often overlooked but are critical in the operation of any machine shop firstly being our wilton bandsaw it's a very simple bandsaw and it's been here since the origination of this shop but it's very reliable, it's served us well, and it's cut literally tons of material, allowing us to prepare the raw stock to continue on in the manufacturing process and to create beautiful machined parts. Nextly, we have our Miller Matic 250. It's a 200 amp MIG welder. Um, we do some fabrication work for our industrial customers 
who sometimes require assemblies to be welded together, but more so, we try to keep our focus on machining. But it's a Miller, it's a great welder, no complaints. It served us very well, it continues to do so. And right next to it, we have our Hypotherm Power Max plasma cutter. Um, we don't do a whole lot of plasma cutting, but it's a great high quality plasma cutter. You really cannot go wrong with it. And next to that, we have our oxygen and acetylene, acetylene tanks for the torch. We use that every now and then. Just basically these tools that any self-respecting machine slash fabrication shop should have. Not saying that they should be the best or the nicest, but they expand your capabilities by a fair margin and you cannot go wrong with employing tools like this. And in the corner here we have our Atlas um, air compressor. It's also served us for a very long time. It's been reliable. We just change the oil every now and then and it continues to provide us with good high pressure compressed air. No complaints there. This vertical machining center, the bread and butter of our little machine shop here, we Haas VF3. We bought this machine new probably about seven years ago now and it's been very dependable and reliable for us and it's done a lot of great accurate work. This is where I learned how to program, how to set up, how to operate a CNC machine. So, you know, I'm a little biased to Haas, whatever people might say. Um, right now I'm setting up this dirt bike head, which I'm hoping to do another video on. I'm going to be recutting these valve seat counter bores before I press in new valve seats. And yeah, check this guy out. I love this machine, but you know, hopefully one day we, alongside it we'll have a five axis working away. Um, here is, you know, our tool station, Cat 40 holders. We've got it all, everything this machine needs to run and to make precision parts. Moving on, we have our Lagoon Bridgeport style track mill. It's a great machine. Um, previous owner of the shop bought it new probably over 20 years ago now and it's served this work very well. Continues to serve us very well. It's a real workhorse. We've put it through a lot and you know it's uh, saved us a lot of times because it's got great capabilities. This head can be indexed to any angle you want. You know, so we can run and do machining operations on parts that otherwise you would never be able to fit in there if you can come up with fixturing creative enough. Our next manual machine, I love all these machines, it's a Victor 1660 manual lathe. It's also, you know, does everything you might need a lathe to do. It's a simple machine, but, you know, just as everything else we've got here, it does a lot of good work. And we're, we are very happy. The guy we have here is our Herrig manual grinder. Um, probably our least used machine, but you know, when you need it, this machine can really bring in those tolerances and surfaces, f surface finishes. So, you know, it's a really good machine for any machine shop to have. Hopefully one day it'll, it'll be upgraded to, you know, something a little bit more automated. And as we move on here, this is our storage area for now. 
Um, I continually organize and, you know, try to make space and make do with what we've got. And it's, it's really tough because I've only worked here for five, six years now, but my grandfather has been here for over 15. So, you know, when you're working by yourself, th you kind of create your own organized mess. But to me personally, that's not acceptable. And you guys might be looking and be wondering what a hypocrite I am, but you know, it's it's hard to organize and a lot of stuff has to get thrown out because we only have so much space to work here with. But, you know, it's a long ongoing process. Like, look at this table. I had every single one of these tools back in its place maybe three months ago, but time makes itself known here, that's for sure. Here's a rotary table. So, you know, basically that's it. Our bathroom, little sink, another rack of all sorts of things. Tools, bolts, nuts. Um, so yeah, bear with me guys. I'm new to making YouTube videos. It's hard for me to talk in front of a camera but I hope to improve. I hope you may find some value in this. And, you know, if you've got any questions, comments, criticisms, leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll try to do my best to respond, to answer, and, you know, maybe give me some ideas for future videos if this might be something you guys would like to see grow and move on and be turned into something wonderful. Thanks.